Hey, this is Rick Casalage, injury specialist from exercisesforinjuries.com. Today, in today's video, I wanted to go through the number one muscle in order to prevent hip pain. And what that muscle is, is the hip flexors. Now let me explain why and kind of go through five reasons why this muscle is so important to fix in order to help with hip pain. So number one ends up being uh, the hip flexors end up playing a key role when it comes to running speed or running. They end up playing a role when it comes to knee drive, so pulling the knee forward, but then also they play a role when it comes to bringing the leg back. If there's tightness in that hip, it'll end up affecting you know, how, how much resistance or how far back that leg can end up being brought back. The second reason ends up being uh, the hip flexors end up, when they're balanced, they end up working with glute max in order to help with performance, but then also decrease the risk of injury. So a lot of times what you end up seeing is imbalances with the hip flexors, so they end up being tight, and this ends up affecting the function of the glute max, which ends up leading to all kinds of injuries, knee pain, back pain, SI joint pain. Also, when it comes to the hip flexors, when they end up being balanced, they end up playing, uh, they end up helping when it comes to core function. So providing rigidity in the abdominal area, which ends up helping when it comes to performance, but then also when it comes to injury prevention and putting unnecessary stress on injured areas. So poor core function will end up affecting, you know, when it relates to knee pain, back pain, and hip pain. Now the hip flexors also end up playing a role when it comes to squat depth and getting out of the squat and exploding out of the squat. So if you end up having uh, tight hip flexors, what that'll end up doing is making it difficult to get into a deep squat position, but then also it makes it difficult I mean, it ends up shifting your weight more forward, so on the midfoot and on the toes, and that ends up leading to unnecessary stress on the knee, which can end up irritating the knee, leading to a knee injury, or, you know, or leading to a full-blown uh, knee pain, constant knee pain. And now the fifth and last one when it comes to, you know, the hip flexors and why they're so important uh, to to fix in order to help with hip pain is the hip flexors end up providing stability in that femur or thigh bone. So if there ends up being excess, if there isn't a good balance when it comes to those hip flexors, uh, those hip flexors end up holding them in a good position when you're going through any kind of any kind of movement. Now, if there ends up being tightness, what ends up happening is that femur gets pulled forward and that'll affect how your squatting goes, um, so your squat depth, and then also it'll, it could end up leading to pinching when you end up squatting deep. So there you go, uh, the number one muscle to kind of focus in on when it comes to hip pain and preventing hip pain is targeting your hip flexors. And I gave you five main reasons why that you need to kind of focus in on those hip flexors, how they're important to you, and, uh, how you, and what you can do to, to address the hip flexors in order to prevent hip pain. Now, if you have hip pain right now, what I recommend for you to do is click right here. What you'll end up finding is I got a brand new free report called Five Tricks That Fight Hip Pain and Tightness. Just click right here, let me know where to send it, and I'll send it to you right away. Now, if you're watching this on a mobile device or a tablet, head down below in the description and click the first link, which will end up being exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash hips. Let me know where to send that report, and I'll send you that report right away. Now, uh, if you got any benefit from this video, make sure to like this video. If you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the description area. And then lastly, uh, before you go, hit subscribe so you'll end up getting other uh, future uh, pain relieving videos.